Hello, my name is Tina Bryant from the University of Hertfordshire Business School. I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes giving you a tip how to analyse, and I call this tip Tina's Dina. D-I-N-A. Description is not analysis. Okay, well, as you know, you've always got to answer the exact question that is set. But one of the biggest difficulties that students have is that they describe too much and analyse too little. And at university, staff normally ask for students to analyse. So I've got a little task for you. Identify a food, perhaps from the refectory. Identify it. It'll be like a list. It'll be a very basic thing to do. And you'll be able to describe it. What it contained. How it looked. However, if we're going to analyse it, we're going to do more than that. We need to develop our ideas much further. And a short way of saying that is to consider, well, what do you like about it? What are the strengths? What don't you like? What are the weaknesses? If you have any task, whether it's a case study on a company or whatever it is, the same way that you might consider food and with what you're choosing for your lunch, you still need to consider, well, how much am I going to have? Is this applicable? What are the strengths of this? What are the weaknesses of that? So analysing breaks a subject or an issue into many parts. So you have to consider, well, what is the issue? Are there many of them? Why are they? What happens then? How does that affect other people? Does it always affect other people? So you're asking yourself these questions. Who, why, what, where, when and how? And when you answer the questions, then obviously the answer that you give will be much more than descriptions. You start with thinking of strengths and weaknesses, and then the in-depth analysis leads you to evaluate. Now I said we're talking about analysis, but if you want even better marks, then you're going to do in-depth analysis and consider, so what? Because when you are critically thinking and analysing, you are judging how applicable something is for your particular work or for your needs. Description is not analysis, and analysis is breaking something down into many parts and analysing the parts so that you can then go ahead and make comments and judge how useful and how applicable and the value of everything in your work. So remember, description is not analysis.